The FV-101 Scorpion light tank, known as an armored reconnaissance vehicle according to British classification, was developed during the late 1960s. It is part of the tracked combat vehicle CVR, T, family. The Royal Army introduced the FV-101 Scorpion into active service in 1973 as a replacement for the Saladin armored car. A total of 1241 units of the Scorpion were manufactured. It served as the primary vehicle in armored reconnaissance regiments for an extensive period. Although it was retired from active duty with the Royal Army in 1994, it remains operational among export customers. The vehicle is equipped with an L23A 176mm rifled gun capable of firing various types of rounds, including HESH, heat, smoke, and canister rounds. Additionally, there is a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. A limited batch of 32 vehicles were fitted with a more potent 90mm main gun. A key requirement for the FV-101 was its transportability by air, which led to the incorporation of lightweight alloys in its construction. The Scorpion's hull and turret are welded and constructed from aluminum alloy armor. The only steel armor is found in the removable sheets covering the engine and transmission. With a front-mounted engine, the crew benefits from added protection. The frontal arc shields against 14.5mm heavy machine gun rounds at a range of 200 meters. All-around protection guards against 7.62mm rounds and artillery shell splinters. The tank relies on its speed to evade enemy fire. The FV-101 accommodates a crew of three, consisting of a commander, gunner, and driver. Initial production models of the FV-101 Scorpion were equipped with the Jaguar 4.2-liter petrol engine. This engine, originally intended for standard cars, was to turn from 265 horsepower to 195 horsepower to ensure longevity in service. The selection was based on its commercial availability and favorable power-to-weight ratio. Later, it was replaced with a Perkins diesel engine, offering improved fuel efficiency. Both engines boasted similar horsepower ratings. The FV-101 light tank can be outfitted with a flotation kit, allowing it to function in amphibious operations, where it is propelled using its tracks. Variants of the FV-101 include, FV-102 Striker ATGW Carrier, featuring Swing Fire ATGMs. FV-103 Spartan Armored Personnel Carrier. FV-104 Samaritan Armored Ambulance. FV-105 Sultan Command Vehicle. FV-106 Samson Recovery Vehicle. FV-107 Scimitar Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle, which assumed some of the roles of the Scorpion after its retirement. Streaker, also referred to as the FV-108, a highly mobile load carrier with a flatbed cargo area at the rear, designed to transport supplies to the front line. However, it never progressed to production.